In today's video, we are going to check out pick3.ai. This AI service allows you to generate videos very easily in just a few minutes. You have a few different options when it comes to generating those videos. You can turn a script into a video or even an article into a video. Or if you want, you could edit video using text. And finally, you could take existing visuals and turn them into a video. This service is not free. However, there is a free trial that does not require a credit card. So if you want to check it out, you definitely can. Now, Monthly, you're looking at $23 and $47 per month, depending on which plan you pick. They do have a Teams option as well. And of course, if you pay annually, you can save a little bit of money per month. If you'd like to support our team, then go ahead and sign up using our link below. It enables us to continue creating ad-free content like this video you're watching now. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is check out the script to video option. I'm gonna go ahead and select Proceed. I had my friend ChatGPT write a video script about great white sharks, and I simply pasted it in right here. On the left hand side, you see paste from clipboard, which is what I did, but we also have highlight, which allows AI to find better visuals. So I can go through and find different lines that I would like to highlight and do just that. We do have three options here at the top right. I'm not going to mess around with these right now. Instead, I'm going to hit proceed. As you can see, we have a plethora of templates to choose from for our video if we would like. And I think I'm gonna go with this one. Once selecting that, I get three different aspect ratios to choose from. 16 by nine would be a video like this on YouTube. Nine by 16 would be a vertical video on a mobile device. And one by one would be something like an Instagram video, which is just square. For this option, I'll go with 16 by nine. And just like that, it is now creating a video storyboard and it's actually searching for visuals that match the text from my script. And look at that, it's creating 67 different scenes. Okay, we are good to go. It says right here, don't worry, the stock visual watermarks you'll see here are only present in preview mode. They won't be included in the downloaded video. Now we can start going through the storyboard and making edits where necessary. For example, right here, I don't actually want my visual cues to be a part of the video in terms of text. I just want that visual to be seen. So what I can do here is I can come in and I can just get rid of this. And that's a lot better. It's just to add to the video. Also, ChatGPT has their narrator indications. Um, we don't need that in the video. It's actually not a good look, <laughs> but I can just go ahead and delete that scene. Another interesting thing to note if you are gonna use ChatGPT is that you do not want to have your uh, quotation marks from your narrator on screen. But as you can see right here, this is perfect. Join us as we dive into the mesmerizing world of the great white shark. We have a really nice visual to go along with it. Again, a shot like this is honestly perfect for what we're doing, but we don't need the text. But that's a really nice filler for music and things like that. It does seem like if you're going to use ChatGPT, you want to tell it not to include the narrator indication, and you also don't want those visual cues. Now I'm keeping the visual cues and just removing the text. That way I have some like in between shots, some nice B roll instead of just having like voiceover, voiceover, voiceover. So uh, that's totally up to you and the video you're trying to create. So this is pretty cool. As you can see, we still have the watermarks, of course, uh, but no text there. Nice opening, got some music playing. And here comes our different text overlays. The visuals match really well. Yeah, that's pretty cool. See, I like that. I like having some visuals that have no text overlays just to really add to it. So that was really cool. I'm not going to go through and edit every single part here, but what I am going to do is check out the other options. So if for some reason I don't like one of the visuals they use, I can just go ahead and swap it out. It's as simple as finding a different clip that I want and pressing it. And there you go. Same goes for audio. Um, I can find a song that I like and I can just apply it. However, I'm pretty sure you're unable to use multiple songs in one video. So you're gonna have to pick one and stick with it. As far as voiceover, if we select that option here, we can choose from some of the different voices they have and I can apply it. They're not the best voices, I will say that, um, but it's still nice to have. In the depths of our world's oceans, a creature of awe inspiring power and beauty prowls. Join us as we dive into the mesmerizing world of the great white shark. Again, they do sound kind of robotic, but it is what it is. For text, we can actually decide what kind of formatting we want throughout the video. 
and you can mess with that here. Under elements, we have access to GIFs, stickers, emojis, things like that, which we can add to our video. And of course, we do have a style already selected, and that's what we're seeing here. We're using the template called Graceful. Under branding, we can actually go ahead and add our company logo, um, some visuals, some text, and we could add those to either the intro or the outro. And then of course, we even have the ability to add a scene logo. Under format, we could choose our video resolution. I have 1080p selected. And then of course our aspect ratio, which we discussed before. Okay, so I went ahead and removed the rest of the script and I made sure these 10 scenes I'm super happy with. So let's say the video is done. I can hit download and I can download the video or if I want, I can actually generate a spreadsheet of social video posts. And they have this little form where you can type in hashtags and copy that you'd like to use and it'll actually generate that for you, which is super cool. But for now, we're gonna focus on generating this video. This is a two-step process and if you want, you could have it run in the background and it'll actually just email you when it's ready to go. Our video is pretty short, so it's going to move through it pretty quick. Okay, your video is now ready. It's saved under my projects. We could copy the link, export audio, export text, which is actually pretty helpful, uh, especially because they work as subtitles. That's what SRT is. Um, but I am just going to download this, and now I have it. So there it is. We have a watermark at the top left. Uh, pretty good. I like it. begin by taking a closer look at the great white shark. Oh, not too shabby at all. Okay, back to this screen. I will say these two options right here are pretty much identical. Uh, one's a script, one's an article, but the rest is pretty much the same. As far as editing video using text, we're gonna try it with their demo video real quick. And then if you want, you can go and sign up and mess around with visuals to video. Okay, so here we are. Uh, as you can see, we have uh and ums completely highlighted throughout, and they actually have a pretty cool option to remove filler words. So if I press that, boom, it just removes them from the video completely. And then we have remove silences, which you can then define to be you know more than two seconds or something like that. So if I do that, press okay, we save even more time by doing that, which I mean, it only removed one, but still that's pretty good. We also have a subtitle enabled right here. So let's see if I press this. Every day we do some $2 billion in trade and investment, and that's the largest bilateral economic relationship in the world. The left-hand side is awesome because this is our editor. We're editing using text. So if I press somewhere on some word, it'll bring me to that part of the video. And if I press play, day, you'll notice it highlights every word as it's being said and also provides the timestamp. Now, if I want, I can actually come in here and edit by just removing chunks of text. If I highlight this, you'll see add the highlights, edit text, download video, or delete from video. Boom, that whole section is now gone. If I want, let's say I literally wanna get rid of all of this and only have this one line for some odd reason because I'm just weird. Well, there we go. Every day, more than 400,000 Americans and Canadians cross the border. Okay, perfect, done. Easy. Now, instead, if I really do like one of these lines, if I say, okay, this right here, super compelling, I wanna download it. I can, and now just that chunk will be downloaded. If we select something and add it to our highlights, it'll show up here, and then we can generate multiple video clips of the highlights super easily. We could also download the text in different formats, and if we want, we could have it auto highlight. So I'll select 30 seconds, there it is. It highlights it for me. The highlights are seen right here, and I can just download them in one go. Okay, so there we go. Pick three is super cool. The first two options allow us to take existing content, whether it's generated by AI or not, and make it into a full-fledged video with visuals, voiceover, music, subtitles, you name it, it's all generated by AI. And we're able to get in there and fine tune it to our heart's content. Now, the next option, edit video using text, is super cool to take an existing video and just kind of dive on in there and make quick bulk edits, remove silence and filler words and things like that, which is awesome. The final option I didn't show because it's quite literally just a slideshow, it's nothing revolutionary. Don't forget if you wanna sign up for Pick3 to use our link in the video description to help support our team and all of our ad-free videos. If you like this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more like it. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.